Hello and thanks for stopping by to a video with Amy Makes That. Today's tutorial I will be discussing the four tools of Cricut Design Space and they are the attach button, weld, flatten, and contour. There is one more tool which is the slice tool and I have a completely separate video on that on my channel. I will insert the card here for you to watch that tutorial since the slice button itself can be a little confusing. So let's first talk about the attach tool. I'm clicking on the shapes button on the left hand side to demonstrate how to use it. I chose this little heart and I'm going to change the colors to of course a neutral palette. The attach tool is essentially used to place or attach hence the word, any project the way it is on Cricut Design Space. Now I'm changing the colors here, but when you attach something, it will make the design all one color. So keep that in mind when you are using the attach tool. Here I'm adjusting the size and rotating the hearts to make them look like they are floating. Then I'm duplicating the hearts again so there are four hearts in total. And then I centered them horizontally so they'd be aligned but this is a test example, so it really didn't matter if I did that. In order to attach a design, you will take your mouse button and highlight all of the layers, or you can click on the right hand side, the layers manually to select them. And on the bottom right corner, you will see the attach button is ready to use. But I'm going to show you what happens if you don't use the attach tool and instead try to just group the project. If we click make it, you'll see all of the hearts are not in the exact place we put them. Cricut automatically placed them side by side and on two separate color mats, which we do not want. So let's go back and highlight the design. And instead, we will click the attach button. See that it did change it all to one color, but we will click make it. And then as you can see, the hearts are in the exact place we put them when we originally made the design. So again, the attach tool is great for attaching a design and think of it like a paper clip since that is the actual symbol on the attach tool. The next tool in Cricut Design Space is the weld tool. You will want to weld with primarily text, but can also weld designs like the heart design before. Welding keeps everything together, but it is permanent. It's not like the attach tool where you can easily click on attach. I will click the text button and type out the word hello, but I want to change the font because it'll be easier to show why with script font welding is necessary. I chose the font Papery Cream from Creative Market and it is so dreamy. Now the letters are all spaced out, which we do not want since when you write script, you attach each letter to the next one. We will use the ungroup button to ungroup the entire layer and manually place each letter next to each other. And Cricut automatically enters text as charcoal gray, but I wanted to change it to black so it's easier to see. Now watch what happens if I highlight all of the letters and don't weld them. I clicked the group button instead. We'll click make it and look, it does not spell out the word hello and all the letters are everywhere on the mat. We do not want to individually cut and place each letter next to each other. So to avoid this, let's go back. You will ungroup the design and instead click the weld button on the bottom toolbar. The reason why I love weld also is because with text, it will cut the word as one whole piece. If you wanted to attach it, which you could, the Cricut would cut each letter separately so it's not all together. So keep that in mind. But click make it and here it's all together and not mixed up like before. But once you weld something, you cannot undo it after you click save. I can click the undo button to unweld because I didn't save my design. So think of weld as the last possible step when you are done with a project. Next up is the flatten tool. This tool is only used with print and cut projects. You may know a very popular print and cut project, which is stickers. The flatten tool is used to change multi-layered designs to one single print and cut layer. To give you an example, let's make a sticker. The easiest way to make a sticker in Cricut Design Space is to click the text button. And then let's type out a word. I wanted to change the font, so I chose the font Peace and Love from Creative Fabrica. It's a bolded, trendy font at the moment and also one of my favorites. I changed the color of the text to black and now let's select a shape. I'm going to choose a circle to keep it simple. And I changed the color to a light beige because of course, I love a good neutral color. 
I clicked the advanced button to get the color I wanted and I need to send the circle to the back so the text can show. I'll adjust the size of both the text and the circle and then center the text so it's all centered. So if you left it the way it was, the Cricut would assume you're using vinyl and would cut the circle separately and the text by each letter. To change a multi-layered cut design to a print and cut design, you must click the flatten button so it becomes one layer. On the right hand side, it now says the print and cut layer vs before it was a basic cut. Again, if you're unfamiliar with print and cut, I have a great print and cut 101 tutorial on my channel for you to watch and I'll put the card here. So once we click make it, this is the print and cut page and it is only showing one sticker obviously since we only created one. But if we go back, say you wanted to change the file back to a basic cut file, you can easily do that and you can click the unflatten button. But as you can see, it still shows it as a print and cut design for both. So under the operation tab, you will choose basic for each layer and now it's back to a basic cut. You'll only have to change the colors though back to the original ones. But that is how you flatten. Flatten is great for, again, changing multi-layer designs to one single layer as a print and cut file. And the last tool to discuss is the contour tool. The contour button is also known as an eraser. With SVGs that have a lot of little details, you can use the contour tool to remove certain areas of the design. The best example is with this skeleton hand SVG I made last Halloween for a TikTok. I'll adjust the size so you can see a bit better, but I created a lot of little details to show the bones, like here you can see the knuckles of the hand. But let's say I wanted to remove those little areas. All you'd have to do is select the design, click the contour button, and it's the last one on the bottom toolbar. Here it will show every little aspect of the SVG, and you can choose which areas to hide or show. Let's remove the knuckle marks. I'll simply click each one with my mouse and then click X when you are done. As you can see, the knuckles are gone. They were really tiny and the Cricut does not like to cut tiny areas. But if you wanted to add them back in, all you'd have to do is click on the design, click contour again, and then click each knuckle mark. And now it's back to the way it originally was. So that is the contour button. Again, think of it like an eraser. It is great to remove certain aspects of SVGs and designs. But that is it for today's tutorial. Please let me know if this helped, especially for my beginner crafters out there. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click my subscribe button for more Cricut tutorials like this one. Also, don't forget to check out my other print and cut tutorials and other design space tutorials on my channel. Thank you for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.